Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be playing a little bit of an older game. We're going to be playing Sarge's Heroes. I had this game for the N64, but I'm going to be trying this on the PS1, so I don't know what the difference is going to be. All I know is, and they sold it on to me, Jim Cummings is in this game, the voice actor. So, yeah, I'm sold. I have no clue what this is going to be like. By sea and by air. The Tan Army launched a surprise attack against unsuspecting neighboring nations. They leave in their wake a path of destruction, the likes of which have never been seen. That cow is in intensely disappointed. Once proud townships have fallen under the tyrannical boot heel of General Plastro, the Tan Nation's <laughs> ruthless dictator whose vision is to be the supreme ruler of all the world. Obviously, a plastic figure has a drinking war problem. Machine rolls across the land. Nation after nation succumbs to their oppressive rule. While the Tan army mercilessly slaughtered the encounter. But what of our boys on the front line? Representing Only in the 1990s the the could Alliance, you. Oh, this is 2000, army, I'm sorry. Led by Colonel Happy Jack Grimm, have mobilized forces and headed for the front line. And we will not stop until General Plasco and his Tan army are defeated. Someone get me my inhaler. Stoop the nail to preserve our freedom. So our heroes battle to let justice arise from tyranny and oppression, fighting day in and day out to deliver us all from the Jesus menace. Christ. We can only join I kind of miss games this cheesy. And a speedy homecoming. Uh, oh, there he is, ladies and gentlemen, Jim Cummings. Those of you who don't know, Jim Cummings is the fucking shit. Probably one of the more prolific voice actors. You would all know. Be seated. For the last couple of years, he's been the voice no of Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. No soldier ever won a war by melting for his country. He won it by making the tan soldier melt for his country. Now, some of you may have heard that this war is unwinnable. That the Tan Army has developed amazing weapons of destruction. That going up against them is suicide. Well, I say that's a load of hooey. Believe me, <laughs> you know exactly what to do when you step into a puddle of melted plastic that used to be your best friend. Now, I'm not going to lie and tell you this will be easy. They've got us outgunned and outnumbered 50 to 1. <laughs> Sounds like good odds to me. The Tan are the enemy. Wade into them. Melt their plastic. War is not black and white. It is green and tan. Jesus Christ. All right, then. That's all I got to say. Oh, and one more thing. I want you boys to know. Well, I ripped this off from Pat. I'll lead you to victory. Dismissed. Oh, now that we got the obligatory patent scene. All we have to do is wait for the obligatory, uh, plati was it, uh, obligatory apocalypse now riding in. Uh, so Sarge's Heroes, yeah, I had this game for the N64. Um, and I'm going to apologize in advance, it's been goddamn months since I've done a single player Let's Play. I've been, I mean, I'm sure the, you know, Splatterpunk and Friends things have been way too much. But, hey, audio, one second, let me just, uh, we some shit down. Nope. Nope. Wrong one. Shit. Incompetence. Incompetence starting at the very beginning. Campaign. Oh, there's three acts, but we only have. Alright. Let's get going. Time for some nostalgia. Now, like I said, I played the uh, PS, or I played the N64 version, which had lower graphics and content, so I have no clue what the big differences are going to be. Wakey, wakey, you green-skinned buffoons. Time for a high-caliber breakfast in bed. Oh, oh, I do so love the smell of burnt plastic in the morning. That's Jim Cummings as well. And this is new because the N64 didn't have full motion videos, to my knowledge. Everything was done in-game. Colonel, what's going on? Sarge, General Blasco and his Tan army are attacking. We're being 
Cummings. That's also Jim. All three characters are voiced by Jim Cummings. Bravo Company, incoming, move out, move out. Jesus. I mean, I knew it was the 90s, but I wasn't expecting all three main characters to be voiced by the same person. I'm going to double check that, though, to make sure I'm not making a gross error. Chances are I'm making a gross error. Who knows? We'll find out. <laughs> Your mission is to get to the landed pad for evac, pronto. Oh shit. Oh, that's a... that's a tank. Oh, and that's how you... See, the controls were a lot goofier on the uh, 64 version, but I think I'm remembering a lot of it. Not used to the autocorrect. I love how the, uh, how do I switch weapons? There we go. I'm already remembering the music. Oh shit! I already like this gun. Oh. Yeah, got you, you son of a bitch. Alright, now I'm trying to remember where I need to go. Oh. This is actually a little... I mean, it's not hard, it's just I'm not used to controls. Kinda shows how babied I was by goddamn brand new physics Yes, of course, party time. Good to go. All right. Uh, I wasn't trying to do that. Why it's doing that, I don't know. I died. Shit. Oh well. <laughs> How far back do I start? <laughs> I guess I have to restart the whole mission. Jesus. Well, time for a handy fast forward. the bridge and not die a horrible death. Oh, hey, there Bravo. we go. Are you all right? I took a bullet crossing the bridge and Bravo Company got separated during the attack. They can hold their own. Now let's get you to the landing pad. Yeah. Plastro's army has the helipad surrounded. There's no way out. Yeah? Well, we'll see about that. Alright. Now I just gotta heal up and continue on our thing, and oh fuck, it's a 90s escort go. mission.
Well, this is gonna prove difficult. is that? Minesweeper? I'm gonna have to sweep my- oh, now I remember this bet. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, we get to go through the thrilling- Roger that. A thrilling mine clearing mission. See those little round discs? Don't step on the little round discs. I guess pretty much what they did, and I mean, I wasn't a big army man. Hell, I, 3DO was out of business before I even went into the consciousness of video games, really. Uh, but, you know, all they did was take every little green and tan army soldier and base the whole game around, well, everything in that. Oh, shit. That's the first mission. Yay. Uh, <laughs> uh it's a little frustrating trying to get used to playing back on this uh on these old style controls. Yeehaw! I mean it's fun, I'm not you know, it's just Sarge. Thanks for the rescue. I love Pleasure how it even has the branding. I only hope the Bravo Company Commandos made it out okay. Colonel, we got a blue tank parked in the town below. Spies, no doubt. Pilot, take us down for a look. Colonel, you need a medic. What I need is to defeat the Tan Army. Now you take us down. You heard the Colonel land this bird. All right, we're destroying a blue tank. They didn't really know how to do stories in 90s games, did they? Maybe it's just me, but... <laughs> uh, Alright, well, let's see what the hell we can find out. <laughs> Sarge, locate the blue spy. When you find him, capture him, then return to the la Oh shit, he has a machine gun. Bazooka. I wonder why I would need a bazooka. Oh, the sound of a tank. Well, that tells me why I would need one of those. Okay, <laughs> um... <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's it for this uh, this session. We'll be doing the more possibly later. Uh, I just wanted to give you a taste of something that was a little older, little uh, little unique. Uh, this is Spider Punk. You guys have a nice night. Bye.